overflows entering into life truth is subtle it cannot be expressed in two words it can only be realized in certain moments however many stories have been used as the only format to explain that which cannot be explained we have asaf's asaf's fables panchatantra stories where through the interaction between animals greater truth is revealed it is said in the beginning of the creation as the first incarnation consciousness absolute consciousness assumed life in water as fish it is known as the first conscious assumption of life one may say that this is a hindu story but the fact is the water and the first life as fish when through the interaction of ovum and sperm the energy is generated as the form of electricity it grows into mother's womb for 9 months into a liquid a fluid known as placenta symbolically this is the ocean and the fetus that enters the electricity the energy that assumes the form of fetus is of the shape of the fish that swims through it i have heard the fish asked how am i going to live how am i going to live in this pleasant earth the absolute master said this pleasant earth this fluid is inside you outside you above you below you it is you you are it you are nourished by it you live by it mind was not developed so no concept of hindu christian islamic religion came to the fetus it simply existentially lived in the placenta getting all its nourishment through the placenta from while in mother's womb life continued at different stages the development took place process of evolution continued different shapes it underwent until the time of its birth came then this existential bio energy 
existential bioenergy entered as fetus came into existence so the first light the greens of the trees the pulse of the cosmos it came up to a certain number of years the mind was still not developed then the process of conditioning began indeed sexual fulfillment the fulfillment in life begins with the seed the fulfillment comes in life and begins with the opening of the seed and evolving out of that the plant and the entire process begins because this existential bioenergy where it is stored it is known as sexual energy so fulfillment in life begins with sexual fulfillment this is the first and the foremost of the fulfillment if one is sexually fulfilled at that level other fulfillment comes it comes only when existential bioenergy is released from the center where it remains stored in human body after the birth in this process first it has to be freed and then move and flow throughout the entire system this is a process it is the beginning of the process of fulfillment but this is not the end one feels only partially fulfilled as this energy flows within and in the process opens various channels it is an entire process it passes through various stations where it is nourished and nurtured or certain things are added this is a complete process of manufacturing you can say at different stages at different stations different things are added like for instance the grounding of the flower at one place wheat is placed then wheat is milled if anything is to be added next station it is another thing happens it is packaged it is goes through various stages until it is ready to be package and distribute for total fulfillment it must be connected to and dissolve in the existential source the moment this movement becomes a conscious process know this as enlightenment there is a vast difference that need to be understood at its origin this existential energy was is connected to the energy in the body because it is the existential energy that came into the body and became the fetus with the introduction of ovum and sperm then at birth it came to be known as ex as exist this 
existential energy as sex energy. This is the beginning. Now the actual process of transformation of this energy has to begin. But the process starts when this energy begins to flow within. Thus the process of, and when it begins to flow within, the process of purification of this energy begins and takes place at different places within the human body or psychocenters. At each center the process differs and finally the energy moves to the crown or the thousand petal center. It has passed through energize the entire body, the end, each and every cell of the body and then it merges with the existential energy. There comes a subtle connection between the crown center and the existential center outside the body. Thus completes the entire process of transformation. Know this entire process as a spiritual process of transformation when it reaches the crown center. First the drop merges into the ocean, one shore is formed. Then the other shore comes, the consciousness that was encaged within the body, limitations, comes out and merges into the ocean, the cosmic ocean of the being. And then the other shore is created when the oceanic presence merges into the drop a bed is formed, where consciousness flows, it guides your moments as you traverse through life's roads, guided by consciousness, one lives the life of fulfillment, <coughs> the life of fulfillment comes first. And then you traverse through each moment as it comes, as each circumstances and situation comes in life. You interact through consciousness. That is the life force that flows in you. Enough for now.